I was stuck at a sentinel roadblock for three hours yesterday. What the hell is going on? Uh, news said, uh, bee outbreak. Didn't know bees had outbreaks. Besides, it's not even swarming season. Well, the bee population seems stable all year. Sentinel's up to something. You thinking about staying in Erewhon? Oh, no. I've been working that land my whole life. I don't run. All right. Be safe out there, brother. You too. Greetings. It's a hell of a rig you got there. Yeah, she's a beaut, ain't she? This is just a little maintenance work. But yeah, we managed to set up a system of hydropower with parts printed by the 3D lab. What, you printed the parts? Pretty wild, huh? You should see the stuff Startup was putting together. Hell, they could print much larger designs. Complex machinery, working parts, those kind of things. Really? This tech was invented to make the world accessible to everyone. When Sentinel took over the island, they started printing parts for their deadly drones. It ain't right. Again with this? Look, we already know how you feel. When I saw what they were doing with the program, I left. And joined up with the homesteaders. But hey, if you're interested, why not check out the startup? Yeah, where's that at? It's called, uh, Polymorph Modeling. It's down in the southeastern part of Smuggler Coves, west of the swamp. Thanks. Appreciate it. Fox, Mad said you had something to show me. Chase! Oh, Fox. It is so good to see you. So great. Thank you for trusting him. He's here, but I'm still making up my mind about him. Shaw said you had something. This is important. Someone still with the company sent me this video they shot with their smart glasses. Activity was reported in your area. Please stay indoors and cooperate with security forces. A scale check security alert is in effect. Just sit there and shut up! Help us! Please stay indoors and cooperate with security forces. Shut up! Do something! 
This didn't have to be unpleasant. I'm just the guy you need for your wonderland. I appreciate mid-level managers who still get their hands dirty. Don't you? Get him in the truck! Move it! Quit your caterwauling. Won't have any of my guests crying like a virgin on prom night. Let's go! Don't you glare at me, son of a bitch. I'm a simple man. You promised to cooperate. And as you can see, I do not abide broken promises. My God, that's Trey Stone. He's the CEO of Sentinel, a private security firm. And you hired him? Not to do that. Miles, a government liaison. He suggested I hire Stone. Peter Miles. He's a company man behind Operation Greenstone. He sent us here. Did that asshole set us up to fail? Man, I hate managers like that. You were never like that, Jace. How involved is Peter Miles? Uh, someone bombed one of the labs at Manganui. Bombing was enough to push me into making lethal drones. Miles showed up with the funding, and we created the Omega security program. And then uh, Walker came on board as a military advisor. And when you try to shut them down, they took over. We need to get you civilians off the island. And I need to get reinforcements. I've been working on a way to make that happen. Yes! <laughs> That's my homie. I, I, I found a flaw in the drone control program. I'm working on an exploit, a virus, that can take control of a single sector of drones. That would allow a ship to leave the island. Yes, but I need help. If it's enough to let troops land, I'll lend a hand. Thank you, Nomad, really. I'm setting up a workspace. Come by and I'll tell you what I need. This feels awesome. Like before, before I just felt like a big wimp. You, you know what I mean? My stomach was all acidy and I really just wanted to eat some fish tacos. But now, I mean, this feels great. <laughs> like we're gonna kick some ass. <laughs> this feels awesome. If Skell has everyone on this island working on his projects, why does he need a secret lab? I... I don't know. Skell's always been secretive. I think he's very insecure. He's one of the richest men in the world. What's he have to be insecure about? I think he's afraid people will think he's a crackpot if they find out some of his more... visionary ideas. Like what? Oh, over the years, he's mentioned some real wild ideas. Cybernetics, transhumanism, immortality, perpetual motion. I can go on and on. If you could dream it, he's got ideas on how to make it work. Including killer drone swarms? I, I don't know. He might be some sort of genius, but for now, I don't trust him. What can you tell me about that defense system? Y you mean the drone swarm? You know, I've known drone swarm technology existed, but I have never seen anything like that. What exactly is a drone swarm? Thousands of brains and eyes all working together to form a, a lethal hive. I mean, they're clearly on an interconnected network. They were working together to form a perimeter around the island. They all reacted at the same time to an intrusion. What's incredible is that the scale engineers let their swarm get out of control. Oh, but it's very much controlled. Just not by us. So how do we stop the swarm? I have no idea. Who does? If anyone would know, it would be Skell. Where can I find Skell's villa? It's in the New Argyle province. It's called Skell Estate. It's one of Scale Architecture's masterpieces. It's stunning. You can't miss it. How come he gave you the access code? 
I've been there many times with Harmony. Skell loves it when she comes over. She brings some life into the place. It's just him in there, aside from the maids. I don't think he really likes it there. Then why does he stay there? Oh, he'd be happy with a bunk bed and a lab. But he's the CEO of Skelltech, one of the most profitable companies in the world. That comes with certain responsibilities, like a, a public image he has to keep up, even if he doesn't want to. Thanks for the help, Fox. I'll see you later. So what's there for a kid to do in Aurora? God. Fine. I go to the beach, like Coromico. There's a movie theater in Liberty. And if you could excuse me, I'm very busy. Take care, kid. Yeah, you helped me out before, but don't think I'm gonna put Erewhon on the line for your vendetta. Sentinel wants us both dead. We're in this together either way. You're the foot laying a swift kick in the hornet's nest, and I'm still not convinced that's the best strategy. Then let me help you out. You're worried about Sentinel finding Erewhon, right? Yeah. I'll get into one of their servers. I'll blow some fake data. Make it look like you've been spotted in places you're not. You know, that kind of thing. Send them sniffing in the wrong direction. That's damn tricky. But all right, give it a shot. Just make sure you're geared up, and if you have any favors to call in, now's the time.
How well did you know Walker? Well, we fixed things together. He was a military advisor brought in after the Skeltec bombing. We were still in mourning for the friends we lost, and then this hero shows up. He was... he was magnetic, charismatic, you know? Like a TV star or something. Yeah. That guy could charm the fleas off a dog. He kind of changed after he left the unit. He never spoke about it. Well, it's top secret. Let's just say it wasn't pretty. Fox called you his best friend. Yeah, I never thought about it, but I guess he's mine too. Times like this, you can count your real friends on one hand. Have you known him a while? Your buddy from college or something? No. A few years ago, I hired him as a consultant. He was working on the problem P versus NP. That literally means nothing to me. It's a math problem. One of the math problems. But Fox was just so enthusiastic about everything, I widened the scope of his role. He was involved in every non-military project Skeltech had. He's a good guy to have around. Absolutely. A hey, genius. I always thought you were more of a pacifist. Gotta say, though, it's a damn shame you had to start making lethal drones. I was naive, I guess. I was hoped for the best out of people, you know? When a bomb goes off and I meet the wrong person at the worst time, I bought their logic that if you want peace, carry a big stick line of reasoning. Stone even said, doesn't God have his avenging angels guarding the gates of paradise? I never felt right here. We're building heaven on earth. And we're not gods. Is that why you kept it secret, Project Omega? Because, you know, some people might look at it as a PR shield, keeping the image of a pacifist while making money on weapons. PR is important, but you don't wear a seatbelt because you're planning to get into a car crash, right? You have to be cautious. Right. Genius, what's this thing keeping people in Aroa? The drone perimeter. We're calling it Operation Citadel. I think Walker came up with the name. Any weak spots? The perimeter is made up of different interlocking sectors, and each sector has its own drone swarm. Each swarm is managed by an AI that runs through a local relay terminal. I could see that system working for surveillance, but it took out my chopper without firing a shot. The swarms, they... They're made up of dozens of miniature drones that act in unison, like a flock. You made an artificial bird strike. No. We made artificial birds to do the job of bees. Pollination. It's Stone and Walker who militarized our swarms to create a deadly shield perimeter. Who thinks like that? People after power. Skeltech needs to start thinking more like its clients. Stay out of trouble. Focus is my forte. All right, genius. Tell me this plan of yours. I can exploit a flaw in the drone control program to take control of a sector of drones that controls the perimeter of the island. But I need help. We need to find my head engineer. We need to make sure that back door in the drone's programming stays open. And we need an advanced AI we're developing. How am I supposed to help with the drone program? The back door, the flaw in the program, needs to stay open. Traystone knows about this flaw, and I had a computer security team working on it. They were the people he was putting on the truck in the video. So he's got them working on it again. I'll get them free. 
Any guess where they are? There's a tech lab where the security team's servers are located. And you'd better destroy the servers, too, so no one can complete their work. Got it. Tell me about this engineer you need. Paula Madera. She's my drone expert. She's brilliant. I can't write this program without her. I know she's still on the island, but she left Skeltech right after Sentinel arrived. Who are they after her? I have no idea. All I can tell you is where she used to live. It's a start. Got my eyes on you, buddy. Behave yourself while you're in Arawan. What's going on out there?
Possible enemy activity. Better take a look. Roger. Watching for unwanted visitors.
nothing yet. Keep looking. Wolf, I wouldn't show. Hey. <laughs> Here. 
Eyes on enemy shooter! Negative contact, negative contact, what the shit?
just stop already? Uh, you're, you're uh, you're, you're in my personal space. Yeah. <laughs> Contact! Eyes on enemy fighters! 